Howdy folks and welcome back to the final Sprocket Collection Achievement Guide for MX vs ATV. This is the Sprocket Collection 10 achievement which is to collect all of the free ride sprockets on the map Sutherland Valley. Now from the very beginning we're going to head off to our right a little bit towards the lake until we come to a paved road and it's right beside the paved road onto our right. Now we're going to keep heading down the road until we see a water tower in the distance on our right side. Head towards the water tower and it's right nearby off of a large rock. Now we're going to turn left and head towards the campground and there's three in the campground, two are on top of buildings and one of them is on top of a camper in the middle of the campground. Now most of the sprockets in here require a lot of jumps off of rocks and the rocks can be kind of sporadic on which direction they'll kick you but they're not too bad. Now we head out of the campground and down the road a little bit until we come up to a bridge. Go under the bridge and it's right there. Now go back across the river, back onto the paved road and follow that for a ways. And there'll be one right off the road to our left. From there look left and you'll see a building with some porta potties beside it and it's right between the porta potties. From there we're going to head left again, go across the MX track a little bit, just past the finish line into that little tower and it's at the top of the stairs. After we go back down the stairs, we'll head across the MX track again until we hit the old paved road that we had been traveling on. And then we follow that road for a little ways along the lakeside until we come to some canoes and it's in the parking lot right beside the canoes. Now we keep heading down the paved road till we come to a bridge and it's right in the middle of the bridge. As soon as we cross the bridge we're going to take a left and follow the river upstream until we come to another bridge and it's at the base of that bridge. Keep following the river upstream until you come to a lumber mill. Now there's a bunch here in the lumber mill. We're gonna take a ramp off of these logs into this building first. Now we're gonna go back and take a run at it so we can get the one on top of the silo. From the one on the silo, we're going to turn left and go towards the back building where there's a conveyor belt, and it's on the conveyor belt on the second floor of the building. Now 
Now jump off of the conveyor belt and it's on top of the building we were just in. Now our last one in this area, we just jump off of the building and take a ramp off of that truck and there's that silver one in front of us. And then we're gonna head back down the river to the paved road and continue on that. We're gonna continue on this road until we hit a switchback and there's a small dirt road heading off of it and we're gonna follow that. And there's a sprocket right on this road. Now we're gonna follow this dirt road a little ways until we see one on kind of a cliff face in front of us and we're gonna jump to hit it. Now we're gonna continue across this paved road right beside us over this little triple jump and we'll see a large hill off to our left and there's one on top of that hill. From that one we're gonna drop off of the cliff to our right a little bit beside the freestyle track and there's one right there. From there we're gonna turn right and go behind the freestyle track and there's a little valley past the power lines and there's one in the bottom of the valley. Now we're gonna turn around and follow the power lines and there's one at the base of the power pole. From there we continue straight until we hit this little dirt road and then we will follow that road all the way around until we come to a shack and there's one on top of the shack. To get the one on the shack, you have to go past it and ramp off of the rocks coming back. So now we head straight away from the shack again and there's one at the top of the hill in front of us. Now we'll drop down and follow this little dirt road to our right and then we'll take a left when there's a little crossroads in front of us. And then we'll follow that road and it's straight on top of a hill. Now that we've got the final sprocket, we're gonna turn left again and head towards the freestyle track because that is the closest place to start an event. and we'll need to start the event to get the achievement to pop.
And there you have it. There's your 10 gamer score and your final achievement in your Sprocket Collection saga in MX vs ATV Untamed. If you want me to make any more videos for any specific achievements or any other games you want me to make guides for, just uh, let me know. And I also want to give a shout out to Zeb LaRue on YouTube. I had made a couple of these videos, but I kind of fell off of it for a couple months and he kept bugging me to come back and make some more. And so I came back and made the rest of them and I'm glad that I did. So thanks. If this is the last video of mine that you watch, then thank you. I appreciate it. And if not, then I'll see you next time.